with the update on this amplifier. So it's got the TDA7492P chip. It's meant to do 8 to 26 volts input, 25 and 25 watt output to so speakers, short circuit protection, thermal overload protection. I've had a look more closely, zoom in. You can see where it's completely melted. I've already desoldered the chip. There it is, it's off. Let's have a look a bit more closely, if we can. We might better see that the pad's burnt off. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven are just gone. 13. 6, 7, 12 and 13. I've done, I've gone. 6, 7. Right, pin 6 and 7 are P, V, C, C, B. Both of them tied together. Pins 12 and 13 are P, V, C, C, A tied together. Let's see what they mean. Right, so pin 6 and 7, P, V, C, C, B, power supply for right channel. 12 and 13, P, V, C, C, A, power supply for left channel. So this is the power input to the TDA chip. So this is the power supply I was using. It's 18 volts at 2.5 amps. If we just plug this in, meter, getting a probe some meter, DC voltage, and we've got around about 18 volts. Okay, so if we now plug this in to the board without a chip, see if it goes boom again. Yeah. We're good, for now. Yeah, we've got some lights. Power is working. Yeah, the ring remote meter again. So now I'm gonna measure pin six and pin seven. Hopefully. You're getting the 18 volts through there, no more. 12 and 13. Getting your 18 volts as well. So what's happened to this? Hmm. What I think that's happened to this is possibly the chip has got too hot and shorted itself internally. As I've seen some on eBay with heat sinks. It has a bit of Bit of heat sinking through the board, but maybe not enough. So, broken. Nagged. In the bin. This is what I was put it in an old iPod dock. Quite beefy speakers. Where it come in. with a Google Chromecast audio things with just a little power supply for it my little my little bits these are quite beefy speakers we get this side off yeah oh, let's see if the angle we are Quite nice hefty speakers in there. Should sound pretty good. So that's it for now. Catch you later.